Hello and welcome to all you Pisceans. This is your monthly horoscope for November of 2019. And if you are a bit curious what 2020 will bring for you Pisceans, I already made the yearly horoscope so you can check it out on my playlist, my YouTube channel, if you haven't done already. So what's going on in November time? It's a pretty good month for you Pisceans. Why is that? Because the most significant things that are happening are happening in a fellow water sign. You are a water sign and there's a lot of activity in Scorpio still, already in October, but still going on in uh, November. So that's good for you because that's very smooth energy that goes together for you. I already talked about the Venus and the Mercury that were in your ninth house of Scorpio last month in October. And there is a bit of a continuation of that. So yes, there might have been uh, some studies that you wanted to do, some travel or even meeting someone from another country uh, that has a different background from you, different culture, falling in love with someone from abroad, for instance, um, studying, publishing, all these things were favored. And this is still continuing even stronger now with the Mercury retrograde. The Mercury goes at the beginning of the month backwards into the ninth house and at 27 degrees of Scorpio. And of course, as with every Mercury retrograde, especially ninth house is far away country, so traveling that might delay something, okay? You might have some delays if you're um, traveling. Other than that, I think a, a retrograde isn't always a negative thing. It isn't always as we perceive it in a negative way, as long as we are trying to go very deep. Why do I say that? Because it goes retrograde at 27 degrees of Scorpio, where there is a fixed star called Toliman Bungula, and that's activated there. And that fixed star is all about self-analysis. So Scorpio in itself is already about going deep, uh, trying to transform, trying to understand. But this fixed star is like a double whammy of self-analysis. And this is about your perspective on life. The ninth house is not only travel and so on, it's also your higher mind. It's also how you perceive the world. What color of glasses do you wear uh, towards, um, towards life? Do you say yes towards life or not? And, and of course, um, with saying yes, I don't mean only saying yes when the good stuff is happening and saying no when the bad stuff is happening. It's about how do you accept life on a deeper level? So there's a lot of possibility for you to study something on a deeper level uh, because that's also the ninth house. The ninth house of study, philosophies or anything that has to do with the higher mind. It's a very good energy between the beginning of the month and the 20th of the month, because then on the 21st, uh, Mercury goes direct again. It is a huge, interesting time for you to study, to go deep, to analyze and what it has to do with you. So analyzing something on a deep level, how you are connected with all there is, but so that you can become more authentic than you are have ever been before, because that's the transformation of Scorpio, being authentic, um, some secrets revealing about your, your perception of life and about how you see the world in, in, in a different way. So very good also for picking up, for instance, uh, studying something that you studied before, like picking up again a language or picking up something that you are prepared to go deep with. Um, rewriting a book, for instance, uh, republishing something. The ninth house, I do associate that as well with YouTube, with, with um, um, uh, reaching a bigger platform. So if you have a blog, if you have a channel, if um, with the Mercury retrograde there, you could revisit it, you could uh, try to improve it, try to work hard on it, and then launch uh, the renewed version, you could say, of yourself, when it comes to your opinion, when it comes to what you want to share with the world. And then Mars entering as well, Scorpio at uh, around the 20th of the month, shows that quite a bit, a lot of activity in how you want to, um, how, how you want to deal with other people when it comes to your, your uh, opinions, your thoughts, 
and spreading your message, but again, in a very deep way, in a very committed way. On another level, it could have to do with love as well, because Venus and Mercury were there uh, in October, and uh, that this conversation with someone from abroad deepens and becomes stronger, and you, you become very active with them. Uh, around the 20th, Mars is after all the planet of action. And um, so that's good as well. Or someone that you've lost contact with from abroad that you get in touch with again, could be, be the, the case as well. And that has a very transformative effect on you and that other person. It has really a healing effect. Scorpio, really, um, maybe there were some secrets there that uh, are revealed now. And as you do that, you go through that difficult time of revealing it, but also of the time of healing and, und and that understanding that goes way deeper. So quite a, an interesting month for you Pisces. I think you're going to like it. Um, most of you, of course. And last but not least, I want to mention, it's only a couple of days. Venus conjunct Jupiter in Sagittarius around about the 24th of the month. So 23rd, 24th, 25th, you're going to have the two benefics conjoining uh, with each other in Sagittarius, the most buoyant sign, the most opposite sign at the highest point of your horoscope. So it's a good day for um, getting a new um, contact when it comes to work um, or to have a party at work or to fall in love with someone from work around those days. Um, but Or someone who's helping you with work and who's helping you with um, your task there, your social status, and who is helping you to improve that and who is helping you to have a broader perspective. On that positive note, I'm gonna end here. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a very, very good month, dear Pisces. And if you want to have a reading, just uh, get in touch. Bye-bye.